The letters displayed here were written to her family by Clara Driscoll, a pioneering artist who worked for Tiffany for nearly 20 years. When they were found in 2005, scholars at last learned how many of the Tiffany lamps and other objects were actually designed and produced. More importantly, they discovered the surprising role that women, in particular Clara Driscoll, had in creating some of Tiffany's most famous works. Just beyond the case of letters is a side gallery devoted to Clara Driscoll's New York world. The large map on the right as you enter pinpoints neighborhoods where she lived and worked. Arriving from Ohio in 1888, Clara lived for most of her working career in boarding houses on Irving Place, near 16th Street. Farther uptown, at the Tiffany Studios, she made her designs and oversaw the women who cut the glass for Tiffany windows, shades, and mosaics. Heavier work, including making and soldering the glass and assembling the lamps, was done by men at another Tiffany facility in Queens. The pottery and enamel departments were out there, too. Now, turn around and walk over to the bicycle mural. It's our next stop on this tour.